I am so excited. Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classes with the Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. If this is the kind of content you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. It's been a while since I've done my intro and it was a little bit shaky, but we got there in the end. Welcome back to another video. I have a very exciting unboxing to share with you today. And I know that I say that like all the time, every time I have, I have an unboxing, it's very exciting. They're all exciting. I only buy things I genuinely enjoy and like, so that's that's why they're all exciting. This box is from Japan. I bought it on Baiyi. This video is in no way sponsored by Baiyi. I do work with them quite a lot, but also I just genuinely enjoy shopping on the platform and I use it all the time. So. You know, here here is a bag from Japan. It is a bag and I can't wait to crack into this thing. It was just delivered and I was doing work and FedEx came by and I said, okay, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna unbox it. And I always film my unboxings for security purposes, just in case there's something wrong with the item. So I was going to film the unboxing anyway and I figured, you know what, I might as well do a video for YouTube. So here I am back again to share with you what I got. Now timestamps will be down below as always, so you can skip to the actual unboxing. But before I do, I wanted to say a little bit of a story time because I wasn't really planning on making this purchase except I was but I wasn't and mostly what I mean by that is that I was browsing online and I had several bags that were kind of on my radar as you might know if you follow me on Instagram I have been really interested in the Chanel jumbo the beige Chanel jumbo uh, in the, the modern size I've also been really interested in a vintage beige Chanel jumbo in the with the Matalasse quilting I really am drawn to Chanel beige with gold hardware especially the big CC so I was looking at that you know I've always interested in reissues so looking at some of those too but when I saw this bag I fell in love with the color first off and then it wasn't a style that was like tippy top on my radar but I love this brand so much that the, the brand has my heart and so I was super excited to add a second piece to my collection and I I'm just I'm really excited I can't wait to see it in person I hope that the color is true to what I think it's supposed to be and enough rambling um, I'm gonna just unbox now and and show you what it is so let's get into the unboxing it was very well packaged, obviously, and I bought this on um, Mercari. No, I bought this on Rakuma from Baiyi. I actually was able to apply a coupon discount, which was really cool. They were running, they've been running 10% and 5% off coupon discounts if you have a minimum spend for a couple of months now. And so I've been like shopping on there and keeping an eye out on the different things that I follow. Like if I follow Vintage Chanel or I follow uh, Delvo, for instance, or even Hermes, and I like chicken checking out what I can find and what's available because you know with like the pre-love market you never know what's going to show up so you kind of have to have a big like a broad variety of things that you're interested in so if you find one of the things that you've been looking for you can kind of jump on that this particular style of bag wasn't on my radar but the brand always is so I just I I had to once I saw the color so it was very well packaged I always get like this really big like pile of bubble wrap um and it was this item was full set too, which was really cool. I think it came with everything, possibly the receipt, but I know that it comes with the tags. Um, it's, wow, it's like really, really stuck in here. Let's, uh, there we go. They always take such care with the packaging. I love it. One moment, please. Okay, okay, a whole pile of bubble wrap later, and here it is. As you can see, this is from Delvo. Delvo is honestly one of my favorite luxury houses. They have a rich history and heritage. I love the bags, I love the quality and the craftsmanship. I love the, the leathers that they use, and I just, I, I have a really big love for the, the brand itself, and I was so excited to add another bag to my collection, and when you see this bag, when I see this bag, I hope that it's, you know, it lives up to what I was expecting in my head. But basically, just like, Delvo has been around since, since 1828, you know, they're, they're so old and they're so richly established, and I, I just really love that. I love, you know, I love vintage too. I love like history and heritage and I loved quality and craftsmanship. And I just think that Delvo is a, kind of an unsung hero of like luxury and, and, and leather goods because they are just, they're so, they're so good. And I have several videos on Delvo. I have, you know, a video when I unboxed my first bag, my Briant. And I also have a video uh, with like the ins and outs, like the, you know, what fits a review of the Briant, which I will link. And I've talked about Delvo a number of times on my channel. I will 
will get into this bag and stop babbling. I'm glad that the timestamps are down below. But yeah, I'm I'm just I'm so excited. Okay, so let's let's do this together. Uh, let's see. More bubble wrap, awesome. <laughs> but I would expect nothing less. Okay. Tissue paper. Yeah, and here's the, the paperwork, awesome. Small dust bag, this is probably what the strap is in. And big dust bag bigger dust bag anyway. I had a couple of reservations about buying this bag. As you can see from the dust bag, it is quite small. And after I bought it, I had a little bit of like, oh no, what if it's too small for me? But uh, I, I'm babbling and I want to show it to you first. So I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit more later after I see it, after you see it. Uh, so I am so excited. Okay. Oh my God. Oh wow. This is such a pretty color. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. So this is the Dovo Tempet PM in the brandy color in the supple calf, the supple calf. And it, I, I love the color. I, the Dovo has several different browns. Their most common brown is the vegetal brown, which is sort of their like classic every season brown, but they do release seasonal colors. And this was, I believe a 2020 seasonal color in this, it's called brandy. And I saw this color brown and it was just like love at first sight. I like the vegetal, but this was sort of love at first sight. And so, you know, I have like a history with brown bags, specifically one, I have my Chanel Jumbo in the dark brown and I do find it very difficult to style, but I thought that this was a lighter, warmer brown. It would be easier for me to wear. And I, I think that one of the reasons that my Jumbo is so hard is because it's so deep and dark and rich, but I thought that this was just warmer and lighter and would be easier to, to just, just wear. And I, I do think seeing it in person now, I hope that I'm able to wear it. Now, as I said, I had some hesitations about the, the bag itself because it is, as you can see, it's, it's very small. Like this is my head, this is the bag. It's actually smaller than the Kelly 25 and it's thinner than the Kelly 25. The Tempet PM is 21.5 centimeters across and obviously the 20, 25 is 25 centimeters across. And I believe it has less depth than the Kelly 25 as well. And so when I first got this bag, I'd looked so hard to find pictures, uh, mod shots on like Instagram and Pinterest. And it was very difficult to find like pictures because Novo doesn't show mod shots on their website really. And it's hard to search these bags because again, Novo isn't as well known and as popular as say like Hermes or Chanel or Louis Vuitton or something like that. So it's not as easy to find people who have these bags. And a lot of the people who have these bags are like Asian. So you have to search in like Asian terms, which isn't the hardest thing, but it's not the easiest thing. So I just, I did my best and I, I, I took a chance basically. I took a chance and I, I hope that it, it, it doesn't seem like it's eedy beedy, like it's small, but it's not eedy beedy. I really saw this bag as like an everyday bag or a bag that I'd love to take traveling. And I took my Louis Vuitton soft, mini soft trunk with me to Japan and that's a very small bag, but it has depth, it's like squatty and that worked really well. So I'm wondering if this would fit about the same. It's so pretty though, it's so pretty. Okay, so let's, let's show you the bag a little bit. So it's got this like push lock uh, closure. So it just pushes up and then it opens and it's like got this open space. As you can see, the inside is a lighter color. So they're lined, almost all the Ovo bags are lined with this like kind of beige pale color. Like, wow, this is so stuffed. This like beige pale color, which I really like. It's a contrast lining. This one is made in France and it's just got a, like a slip pocket in the back. It's so soft inside, my gosh. Like I believe this is probably, I believe this is like a lambskin. It's so soft inside. And then to close it, so you see this like this push button lock. To close it, you just close it like that and you find the lock and you push it in. Now I did see that it was harder to close when it was empty, um, which I do, I do see, but I, it doesn't super bother me. Like you just have to push it, I guess. There, yeah, so you just push it. And I do find this uh, a lot less fiddly than the Kelly. As you know, might know, I have a Kelly 32. It's a beautiful bag. It's in blue jean. I love it. It's just very fiddly to get in and out, especially because it's in box cap, so it's a very stiff leather. And I love the fact that this was just like push open. There you go. And then to close it, you did the same thing. You pushed it close and there you go. Now, a nice thing about this bag is that it actually is expandable. So as you can see here, we've got these singles that can like go up and down. So you can actually 
take these off and leave it like open and hanging, which is like kind of an edgier look. Or you can put the singles in to close the bag, make the bag close like further in, or you can leave the singles on like just a, the bigger setting. I, I kind of like the Delvo Tempet with the singles like closed. I do, I do like the style. I like it open too. I think they're both like, they give you a little bit of variety with the same bag, which I thought was really kind of cool. The bag has a, a strap and that's I believe probably in this, yeah, dust bag. And the strap is the same color and it is adjustable. Yeah, very nice. And it's got these two like loops here that attach to the D rings, even though these are rings, they're D rectangles. Yeah. And it's got the little Delvo charm right there. And oh gosh, it's, it's so pretty. It, it smells great. Yeah. I mean, just the craftsmanship of these bags are, it, it's impeccable. It really is. The, the leather feels wonderful. It's so it feels very supple and the inside is so soft. Another thing I like about the, the Dovo bags, the Tempet and the Briant, is that they have these really tall handles which make them really easy to wear like over your arm even if the bag is small. Like I find that is sometimes tricky with even my Kelly 32. The Kelly 32 has a tall handle but it's not as tall as the Delvo Briant or even the Tempet. So sometimes if I'm wearing like a bulky like sleeve, I have a bulky sleeve or something, it's kind of not as easy to get my arm arm in all the way. And right now I'm wearing a bulky sweater, so I'll see how well this works. But even just like this, yeah, that, that works fine. And it's, it, it looks so cute. It looks so cute. I, I'm so excited. My gosh, like, oh my, <laughs> I'm really happy. I'm really happy. It's, it's, it really isn't, you know, it isn't as small as I was worried about. Like, I think especially because it's got some depth on the side, I feel like this would fit, you know, pretty much what I need if I'm going out for a day. Like, um, passport, wallet, phone, keys, a portable charger probably, and maybe like a reusable bag and so, like little odds and ends. I think it would fit that probably pretty well. I just really want to quick also show you the dust bag. Like look at how beautiful this is. This is embroidered. Like that isn't printed. This is an embroidered dust bag and both dust bags are, are embroidered like that. They're thick, they're nice quality. They're like thick cotton. And it also did come with the paperwork. So here is the yeah so it came with the one of the the tags this was obviously bought in japan and then the little leather booklet information which is in a variety of languages and it also came with an explanation of the metal and then the actual leather certificate so here's the leather certificate and then it tells, it's got the Delvo like stamp and then the, where it was bought, what date it was bought, um, and then the actual tag. So I've got the full, I've got basically the full set. That's so cool. And the bag is beautiful. I probably sound a little bit frenetic, but I, I'm so excited to add another Delvo to my collection and I really want to add like a mini Briant, more Tempet PMs now that I see the size and like a fun variety of colors. I think that would be so cool. I've seen them styled so well and like so fun and I just, I really, I want to have fun with my collection. I want to have fun with my bags and I really, I love the, the playful styles that Delvo imparts into their creations and I just, I love the color options. You've seen me try on a bunch of them before like when I have the opportunity to. Uh, I don't have a boutique in my state, but when I visit New York, for instance, I get to go to the Delvo there. It's so pretty. Thank you so much for sharing it with me. I'm glad that my worries were for naught. Like I was worried about the size and seeing it in person. Now it's not as itty bitty as I was worried. I really think that it'll be fine in terms of size. Like this is my phone and it'll fit this way. And I think it'll also fit up and down. So, you know, I think that it'll fit all the other like little things and bits and bobs that I would need if I was going out for a day. It's not going to fit my planner, but like that's, that's not what this bag is for. That's, that's what's totally fine. I didn't really need it to fit my planner. Really quick because I've just babbled a lot about the beauty of the bag. So again, how I bought this bag. I bought it on Rakuma Rakuten from on Baiyi and they were having a 10% off discount. So I got 10% off the yen purchase price of this bag. So it was originally something like I think 670,000 yen and then I got 67,000 yen 
off. So it went down from 4,600 to 4,100, something like that. And then obviously there was customs fees, but I, I don't, you don't pay tax on Bayi, so you, you just pay the customs obviously. So instead of buying something through like eBay where you're paying tax through eBay and then you're also paying customs if it comes from overseas, Bayi you at least don't have to pay tax. So sometimes what I'll do is if I find something from a Japanese seller on eBay, I'll try to find the same listing on Bayi to see if it's sold there too. That's just a little trick that I do if you're able to use a Navigate Bayi. Sometimes you can find the same eBay item on Bayi and even for cheaper too. So it's just a little trick that I would suggest you try to take advantage of if you can. I love this bag. I, I, I'm i in love with this bag. Seeing it in person really has clinched the fact that this was a good decision. I'm so glad that my worries were for naught. Uh, thank you so much to uh, Sam and Caleb for listening to me babble endlessly about this bag. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate it. Have you heard of Dovo before? Or maybe did I introduce you to Dovo? I'd love to hear what you think about their bags and their styles. And obviously I have a great love and appreciation for their heritage, history, craftsmanship, all that sort of thing. If you've just recently had a fun or exciting purchase, I'd love to hear about it. Please do leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. It super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content that helps the algorithm even more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. This is the kind of content you find interesting. Please do subscribe and pick. I forgot my intro.